Fred McNeil, and thank you for watching QAC TV 7. We've got a delightful new program we've started, and it's called Senior Moments. Once a week, we come in and we try to help the population, that's 65 over, 55 over, we try to help everybody learn about opportunities and things that can help out senior citizens. And I'm just delighted to have uh, the Queen Anne's County Department of Aging, which offers some wonderful services for us. It's going to come in on a regular basis and help us out a little bit. And I've got Steve Scott with us today. Steve, thank you for joining yeah, us. Thank you for having now, me. Now, Steve, look, before I start, you and I were talking before we went on. There are some amazing numbers that are coming up on the growth of seniors in the world. Okay. And we de they're, they're now saying that every single day in the United States, 8,000 people are turning 65 and over. 8,000. That's a lot, huh? Uh, in 2013, the people over 65 years old made up about 14% of the population in the United States. Now we're talking, and, and by the year 2050, 50, it's going to be 20 percent. I mean, that's okay. all types of things which we'll be talking about okay. that are going to affect this country and us seniors. And now, my two favorite ones, and then I'm going to be quiet and let you talk, right. I promise. There are already 55,000 Americans over the age of 100. And you can see they're kind of a rare thing. But by 2050, there are going to be 600,000 people who are going to be over now? I'm going to be 103. So you're going to make it. I, I'm, I'm counting on it. My wife is hoping I don't, but she's <laughs> counting on it. Now, the last one currently, uh, people over 65 years old in the world are 483 million. That's a lot of people. But by the year 2030, that's going to be 974 million. We're talking. 20, almost 20 percent of the population. So that's the interesting news. Now here's the bad news. You've got to help us. <laughs> that's right. So why don't you do, by introduction, tell us what you do, what the department agents do, and I'll just be quiet and ask questions when I get confused. Okay, great. Well, thanks for having me. Great. Again, my name is Steve Scott. I work for the Area Agency on Aging, not the Department of Aging. Okay. We used to be called that, so okay, my I don't bad. want to correct my you. Bad. So um, that's our charge, is to help individuals 16 over for most of our programs age with dignity, um, mainly in their homes, we hope. Okay. But certainly people need long-term settings as well. Our senior centers, uh, you can be 55 and over. So for our agency, we have three distinct divisions. We right. have County Ride, which is the public transit system for the county. We have our senior centers, three senior centers. Which, let me just say, uh, when you meant, before you get to, hey, County Ride is so terrific for seniors. My 93-year-old mom mm -hmm. used to be taken to senior centers. They drive right to my doorstep. That's right. And there's a mm -hmm. type, uh, most people don't even know you offer that. That's right. It's a great service. It's a great service. They'll pick you up right at your house, take you yeah. to the senior centers, they'll take you to doctor's appointments in Annapolis. And take you home. Take you home. Yeah, which, yeah. Is, which is great. Okay, go ahead. So we also have, like I mentioned, three senior centers, one in Kent Island, one in Graysonville, and one in Southersville. And anybody can take advantage of anybody. those? Anybody. Okay. 55 and over. Yeah. I mean, there's no... Not anybody. There are a couple, couple specifics, but okay. basically anybody 55 and over. All righty. And we have a lunchtime meal. There's tons of activities in the center. There's cards. There's yoga. There's aerobic class. And we'll go into that Yeah, we'll we go talk. into that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And then we also have uh, community care, which is basically community services. So that's where we help individuals in the community with long-term services and supports, help uh, with Medicare enrollment, not only original Medicare, but also Part D of the prescription plans. So there's a number of things we can do to help all kinds Seniors. of individuals in the community. Well, Steve, what, and you and I talked before we went on. Now, I've been in education my whole life. And I support education 110%. But in Queen Anne's County now, we have more seniors than we have children okay. in K through 12. So all of a sudden, lights start going off. We got to service these people. You're, you're absolutely right. And we see it. We see it every day. We can notice by the phone calls we get, just the number of phone calls we get. And what we're really seeing is a lot of individuals in the community that don't have supports. They may live here, they may have kids, right. but their kids might be in California, they might okay. be in Texas. So they need help. So they need help, okay. and uh, it takes a community. So there's a lot of great neighbors out there and formal caregivers that help people, but uh, sometimes people don't know what to do. This is going to become, this, this job, this isn't right. going away. It's not going away. No, I mean, it's, it's going to get yeah. bigger and bigger. Well, let's go to your individual areas. Okay. Okay, uh, my mom, you guys were great. I made a phone call and I said, look it, I'd like to get my mom to senior centers. Tell me how that whole procedure works. Okay. So first you have to decide, you know, are you going to take that individual to the senior center or does she need a ride or does he okay. need a ride? So they're going to have to register. So first you'd want to do is call the senior center and find out if you can have a tour. 
Okay. So the, you could see the senior center, see which one maybe is closest to your home, what activities are in the senior center, do they feel comfortable there, those kind of things. And then the second step is if they do need transportation, you call County Ride, okay. and we can give you all the phone numbers at the end. So you call County Ride, we have three great dispatchers, and you just tell them, hey, this is my name, they'll do a quick intake on you. Um, I'd like to go to the senior center, I don't want to go every day, I'd like to go Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday because of the classes. And they'll tell you the times, you know, that the route would sure, go pick you up. Sure and they'd come get you, uh, you'd be there for you know, the allotted hours and they'd bring you home. Steve, I, it, we were delighted. I mean, all of a sudden a van would pull up in our driveway at 8.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'd walk out with mom, a couple people in the van, so she got someone to right. talk to. The driver was as courteous and as kind. And then the next thing I know, four or five hours later, depending on her schedule, we're, it, it couldn't get any easier. Yep, she comes on back. And, and there's no cost? No, there is a cost. Okay, remind everyone what the cost right. is. So it depends if it's going to be curb to curb okay. um, service, but typically for for those, it'd probably be three dollars a day for a senior center. Three dollars. I mean, for right. my mom going to Southernville or Graysonville mm -hmm. or Ken Island, and what a bargain that is! That's right? a great bargain. Now, it's a great service. And tell me other. Now you were, you mentioned also if you need to go to a doctor or somewhere. Right. So the same process. You okay. would call County Ride and you talk to one of the dispatchers. If you haven't used the service before, they'll do a quick intake, okay. you know, just demographic information, where you live, and then they'll tell you about the parameters of you know, where they go, east and which days, which times. Uh, they do a great job working with a doctor, so if your family member right. talks to your doctor and says, hey, you know, I use public transportation, right. that office will actually make it much easier for them because they know that there's, okay. you know, they there's, can there's schedule, schedule based on transportation. Right, right. so that, that's important to talk and to your doctor It's not a difficult process. No, I mean, it's, it's a phone easy. call. And right. what we got, we got, it seems like we we're constantly getting follow-up phone calls. Mr. McNeil, is it going all right? Mm -hmm. Is your mom comfortable? That type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, and what, like you say, we'll share numbers at the end. But folks, take advantage of it. Get out of, I mean, I don't know how you, Steve, get out of the house. You guys yeah, have made right. it so easy, right? Don't stay at home and just watch TV. Get out and go to a senior center or go to something. Now, let me ask you, tell me about the senior centers. Okay, so the senior centers are, are very important, and we look at the senior centers as the kind of first step into our department. So whether you're 55 or a little bit older, that's maybe the first time you're going to have um, an idea of who we are. You don't need some of the other services yet. You're healthy, right. you know, you're very active. So you come to the centers, they do all kinds of wonderful activities. They have special programming. Like you said, yoga, um, yeah. they have painting classes. Cards, they play cards. Cards, yeah. you know, you name it. There's bingo, everybody loves bingo. Oh, sure. Uh, special luncheons, uh, we have nighttime programs. There's actually a spring fling coming up, which I'll give the dates on that later great. too. Right. And, um, so there's lots of great activities at the senior center. And, and, you, I mean, and each center, if I remember correctly, put out like a list of weekly or monthly activities. Yeah. So there's like a road map yeah, we have to help you. Monthly calendars. Well, right. I want to do yoga. Well, yoga is offered, uh, that type of thing. Yeah. There's so it's all calendars. out there. And one of the great things is there's a gym in each center, right. which has weights. It has like, you know, bike machines, all kinds of other things. And it's free. The senior centers are absolutely free. There's no reason not to come. No membership? No, no, there is membership, okay. which is just an intake. There's you just fill out a form, right? paperwork yeah. you fill out. Okay. And one of the things that I've seen and heard a lot, some people say, I'm not, I'm too, I'm not old enough to go to that place. Yeah. You know what? But that's, don't believe that. No. They're, they're great places. It's free exercise, lots of classes. I went to a woman's aerobic class. Okay. And I've never, it looked like it from 50s to 60s to 70s, mm -hmm. days, more energy coming out of that class. Right. And I don't know what the age groups, but it looked like to me they were all 21-year-old kids in a high school phys ed okay. class or a college phys uh -huh. ed class. It was great. Yeah. Now, again, and we'll do numbers at the end, mm -hmm. just a matter of calling the center, calling and, the center. and making an appointment for that orientation. Or, the right, walk. or you can just walk right in. They don't mind that at all. You can just walk right in and okay. you, they'll give you a tour and they'll talk to you. Okay. Uh, some classes there are charges for, but um, most things are, are free. So we've got transportation. Right. We have a place where you can go for day and evening activities, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, how, how, tell about some uh, food. Uh, meals on wheels with you guys yeah. or what? Okay. So that's part of the community care, the community okay. services. We have home delivered meals and that's a program for individuals that are homebound. Right. So, um, it, 60 or over, again, because we don't know people's health status, but right. so individuals that don't get out much, that can't get out, have difficulty cooking, right. there's a program where we can take meals to that individual. We deliver three times a week. They are frozen meals, but they meet one-third of the dietary guidelines okay. for an adult. Right. So they get six meals per week, delivered Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's a matter of heating them up. 
heating them up, heating right, them up which is good. three routes throughout the county. And delivered at the house. Delivered to the house. Oh. It also acts as a friendly visit. Okay. So some individuals are homebound, their family's not nearby, so it's kind of a comfort to them know that not, not only are they going to get a meal delivered, they're also going to have someone just check in and they're okay and everything's Someone fine. knocking at your right. door, you're all right, right. in there, right? And it's, it's socialization too, okay. so it's, it's a positive thing for the participants. Well, that's what my mom got. I, I thought the best thing was to just get out of the house, be with people that love and care with you, right? And you, right. all of a sudden you find out that they're dropping over on the weekends oh, some okay. of the people you meet or you see them in church or whatever and they're talking about hey we got cards coming up at the senior center okay. and, and uh, having filmed there and having visited them a very non-threatening atmosphere yeah, i mean right you feel very comfortable welcoming. very right. good mm -hmm. now how about special like the senior summit are you all involved in that well that is ours okay yeah, well tell me so, about that so let me have, have a fly here okay. so i might and remember have to, you jump um, i'm just yeah, throwing things this, at you so. okay so it is our uh, 17th annual Senior Summit. Okay. And it is... And it's a yearly event. Yearly. It's okay. May 17th. Okay. And Coming up, not that far yeah, away. Yeah, it's not too far at all. It's 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. And what do we do from 9 to 2? So we do a number of things. Uh, the main purpose of it is it's not just a Queen Anne's County event. We market it as a mid-shore event. The whole mid-shore? The whole mid-shore. So we have... Uh, now, where? where? 4-H Park. 4-H Park. 4-H okay. Park. Okay. So hopefully we have great weather and we have sponsors, vendors, which are basically local businesses, again, not Queen Anne's County, but the mid-shore, oh, mid that offer services to our seniors, okay. as well as their caregivers. And it's a delight. I know a church group that goes mm -hmm. to Mother of Sorrows, and they love it, because they learn about, hey, I didn't know we had this program. Yeah. I didn't know we could do this. Okay. Yeah, so they're going to meet all kinds of professionals, doctors, lawyers, uh, hospitals are there, attorneys, anything that you could possibly want to know okay. about senior services. Now, do you there. need to sign? What's the procedure? No. Okay. You know, if you're just, at a senior center, it's great if you let them know you're coming, but okay. it's open to the public. So we don't just say it's for seniors, it's for caregivers, it's for any age. So we have entertainment. Oh, so wow. this year, we always have a theme. So this year, it's the sock hop theme. Oh, this could get ugly. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, it shouldn't be ugly. It should be a lot of fun. I'm just thinking yeah. my sock okay. hop days. Okay. Other people would So okay. we're going to have Elvis. Oh, right. Elvis, Elvis will be in the house. Elvis is going to be there, right. and he's going to be entertaining. We're also going to have quite a few classic cars. Okay. You know, hopefully that match, you know, the 1950s. Sure, sure. We always have a meal, and uh, there's giveaways. So a lot of the vendors and sponsors, okay. you can do a drawing and, you know, get a giveaway at the end. And there's really, really nice stuff. And you get a nice crowd out there. Yeah, it's, like a, it's almost like a county fair atmosphere. Yeah. So we typically get... 400 or more. This year we're really trying to break a record, so okay. we want everybody to come out and enjoy it. If you invite us, we'll come out and film part of it. You know, yeah, I know yeah. they do it, they've done it in the past, but yeah. we'll, we'll jazz it up here a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that'll be now, good. Now, remind me, will you give me the dates, the time, and the location again Absolutely. of that senior summit? So it's Friday, May 17th, Okay. 4-H Park, and it's from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, and no, you can just show up if you want to. You can just show up. If you go, and it doesn't hurt, though, to go through a senior center. It doesn't hurt to give a call to the Kramer okay. Center and or senior center. And because you might want some more information. All right. Uh, there's handicapped parking, so it's accessible. You know, we have golf carts so that if someone has difficulty you can walking, get around. we can pick them up right at their car, take them right to where all the action is. Okay. And that's going to be a fun day, right? You get yeah. music. Elvis is in the house. Elvis, oh, Elvis. Don't tell yeah. that to George Harvey. He'll be out there taking all types of pictures. Okay. <laughs> now, do you have other special events during the year? Are there, I mean, are there trips places? Are there other there's, things going on? Yes. There's typically bus trips throughout the year that's okay. offered through the senior centers. Okay. And what you can do is actually check out at the senior centers and see what trips are offered. Because they have bulletin boards with all the trips. Boards. Okay. Uh, you can come to the Kramer Center. We have a bulletin board with bus trips, or you can call us at the Kramer Center. They okay. can tell you what's you know, available for the year. There's also, I have a flyer for that. We have a spring gala. Oh, tell me about spring Every gala. year. And that is, it's called the Spring Fling. And it's a dinner dance, and it will be Thursday, April 25th. Which is about a month away. Right, from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And that's going to be at the Ken Island Senior is Center. Is this a dress-up thing? or You know, typically people do dress up. Okay. It's not required. Okay. It's $20, but All you right. get a great meal. You're going to have stuffed shells. Oh, no. uh, what else? Garden salad, steamed vegetables, garlic bread, and dessert. Oh, it sounds good. And okay. also music. And, oh, music and dancing. Lord, we so. can dance again. You can dance. Yeah. Don't tell Mrs. McNeil or I'm in big trouble. Well, okay, all right. As long as you guys have 40 so, bucks, you can come on out. I like, so we have galas. We have senior days. Mm -hmm. We have senior centers. We have meals on wheels. We have transportation provided. Before we go into all the numbers and everything, any other programs or special things that you want people to make sure they know you have? Well, we have... Uh, a program called Maryland Access Point, Please. as well as a program specialist. We have three of those, and basically all of them help individuals with a number of different things. Okay. We talked about Medicare. Any questions or concerns about Medicare, they can give us a call, 
if they have um, you know concerns about maybe some mail that they got they don't understand it's right. a medical bill okay. we help people with energy assistance homeowners right. or renters tax credits uh, a number of things so if you if, you, if you're a senior, just yell help yeah, and dial just, in. Just yell help. If you're not sure what you need, if you're not sure what's available, you give us a call and, and then we can take it from and there. And just from my personal experience, of course, I, I taught Kathy, your boss, who was okay. uh, Kathy Riggs, wonderful ninth grade student. If you need any dirt on her, I'll pass it on. Well, I don't we'll, tell her. Okay. We'll the cameras if off. things get tough, all yeah. right, okay. But it can, it, just about all of your needs or many of your needs, senior citizens. Now, before we forget, let's do some numbers. Okay, I'm okay. at home, I'm watching this show. Step one. What's, who's, who's a starting point for all of the services, or you, how do you want them to call? Okay, well, if you had just questions about the Senior Center and you look close to Graysonville, you'd call the Graysonville Senior Center. Okay. So that's 410-827-6010. Okay, and George will put those, those we'll scroll put across. So call the center, say, look, I live near Graysonville. I'd like to do, what, okay. What's going call. on? You know, okay. what's going on? Okay. They'll, they'll invite you in, and then you can go from there. So Ken Island Senior Center, the same thing. 410-604-3801. Okay. And I'm impressed you remember those numbers. Yes. Yeah, this, this show's called Senior Moments. You can you yeah. drop a couple if you want to. Southersville, I'm going to have to look. That's so. okay. Okay. So Southersville Senior Center, that is 410-438-3159. And our general number for the Kramer Center. So if you have no idea what you need. Call the Kramer Center. Call the Kramer Center. Which is loaded, located right behind the Board of Education in Centerville. Or the Goodwill Fire Department. Okay. Or the Goodwill Fire Department. And plenty of parking. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 410-758-0848. Okay. And then they can direct you to whoever you need to speak to. So I think that, now you tell me if this, this is a procedure you want. I think the best thing sometimes, if you're not sure who to speak to, call the general number right. and they direct you so quickly. Yes. Well, you want to speak to so-and-so, you want to call the center, here's the information on this type of program. Right. Okay. And we're on the internet, very easy to find, qac.org. Okay. You go under the department link and then you go to community services and then Area Agency on Aging, and then anything you want. And is that right gives there. you an update of just about everything right. that's With going people's on. names as well. So. Okay, okay. If pe is, do you have volunteers? If someone calls and says, I'd like to work with seniors, mm -hmm. or do you have a, a way they can do that? Yeah, so they would call the main number again, and then we okay. could put them Back the Back at the right Kramer Center. Okay. To the Kramer Center. So we have volunteers in the senior centers. Uh, we have volunteers that ride with the home-delivered meals drivers. Are you in need of people? Sure, we can, okay. we can always use people. people. Yeah. Okay. And we have a program called tele Telephone Reassurance. All right. uh, we have volunteers for that, and that's where people, again, homebound people mm -hmm. who may not have anybody close by or support systems, we give them a call, Great. typically daily, to try to find out how they're make doing. Make sure we're okay. Make sure they're okay. Right. So we have volunteers for that as well. Okay. I think the big thing is we've got to educate the seniors, myself included, and that's why we're doing this show. Okay. There's these wonderful services being provided to you by your tax dollars. Right. You just have to take advantage of them. Absolutely. Call the centers. Call the main office and say, look it, I need a ride. I don't know what this letter means. I need some help with taxes, yada, yada, yada. And you all are encouraging that, right? Absolutely. Okay, that's well, what great. we're here for. Now, is there anything that we haven't covered? I think we've got it all. Okay, we'll, so. we'll look at it. Thank you for coming. Folks, Andrew, I want you to know, Steve and his fellow workers will be on as often as they'd like, talking about special okay. events. We'll go out to some of their sites. But remember, this show is about helping those who, quote unquote, senior said, and I don't care, it's 55, 65, 85, or 95. And if you have questions, I think the greatest place to start is with you guys. Because it seems like you're a perfect clearinghouse that says, yeah, here's what you should do, that type of stuff, which yeah. is good, okay? Yep, it's well, a great place. thank you for coming. I want right, to, and, and truth in advertising, this gentleman walks by my house every day, exercising every day. Right. Now that it's spring, I spend a lot of time on the front porch, mm -hmm. okay? Great, Steve, well, see you on thank you very too. much, okay? Yeah. Folks, thank you for watching Senior Moments. Uh, we're here every week. And we're here to help you. If you have questions, you have concerns, contact us here at the station. If you'd like to come on and speak, we'd love to have you, okay? And if you have anything that benefits the wonderful seniors in our community, we'd like to hear from you, okay? My name's Fred McNeil. My time's up. Thank you for your time, and we're going to see you next time.